Hello and welcome to the second video which is developed from uh, unixservices.co.in We have Unix services as our company and now we are concentrating on uh, the concepts of uh, IP tables and we are looking at how exactly IP table works so we have seen how exactly it lists the rules which is there and to have a demonstration we'll just go back to the Red Hat machine and see so I'll say I have config that's IP tables dash uppercase L to list suppose if I don't want all these rules which is being laid out so what I'll do is I'll just type IP tables dash F to flush now if I type IP tables dash L to list so we don't have any rules which has been specified okay that's good so let's go ahead and write some rules and see how exactly the firewall or the IP table perform so before we go ahead we need to learn how should we write a rule very important so so we have understood the three main segregation to write a rule one is we need to use tables and the one is we need to use chains and the one is we need to use rules these are three important things and we also saw IP tables dash L which lists all the rules which is there you can also use if you want to view only the filter table you can use IP tables dash L dash T and a filter to only view the filter table NAT to only view the NAT table mangle to only use them view the mangle table so that's all different things which is there and now let us go ahead and uh, look into how do we write a rule so very important is so first we will type the command IP tables okay so I'm per I will perform this task on a machine which is now presently running a web server so the IP address of this machine is uh, I've configured it as so let's see if config so it's 1.30 and it has the um, HTTP service running so I'll say service HTTPD status and you can see it is running so we have the HTTPD service running so here if I just open a browser and type in my IP address so it's HTTP 1.30 so automatically it will pull, pull up the information welcome to unix services.co.in because this is what is the information which has been written on my Apache web server so this information is dropped under var www html as an index.html page so I'll just show you that information as well so if you just get into var www html and hit ls you can see the file so this is the file which it is bringing up and we have the service httpd which is configured and it is running so that's good so 
now if we re request the same page on our network from a different machine so we should be able to get that information so let's do that with the uh, CentOS 6 machine so I will open up a browser and I'll request for a HTTP request I'll say HTTP colon 192.168.1.30 here we go so we are able to get 1.30 by communicating through port number 80 through HTTPD service through the to the server so we are communicating to the server that is 1.30 this is our client so if we just check the IP address of this machine it's fconfig so you can see this machine has an IP address of 1.35 so this is the client CentOS 6 and the server is CentOS 5 we were able to communicate to the CentOS 5 machine which is there here now we have to apply the rules on this machine the server which is providing the requests to the clients so now we need to check by using IP tables do we have any rules on this machine so if we see we don't have any rules so now let us go ahead and write a rule on this machine so how do we write a rule so we have a procedure to write a rule so first we will type IP tables and then we will type dash T and the table name okay and then we will type a rule so let's do that now so I'll go to my server this is my server I'll type IP tables dash T table name is filter so we are applying it for the filter table and now we are writing a rule so what is the rule so a is accept okay so here is a rule position so this is the syntax so we are using dash t as a option here dash t and we are writing it for the filter table then we are using dash a accept input accept input dash i is interface the action what it has to take from eth0 dash p is protocol tcp and dash dash is destination port 80 dash j is jump reject so you need to write a table table name then the rule position the action what it has to do with the chain chain name the input chain the conditions the conditions is if we are accepting the request from eth0 through the protocol tcp through the destination port 80 then it has to jump and perform an action reject so this is how you write a rule so we have written dash t for filter dash a to input so let's write down the rules dash a to input dash i the interface is eth0 then we have dash p is the protocol tcp then we have dash dash destination 
dashboard so port number is 80 if the destination port is 80 dash j jump reject boom we have written a rule here so now if I say IP tables dash L and C you can see it has put in an input and now we have a rule which has been reject which has been written for protocol TCP source is anywhere destination is any TCP and it automatically recognizes the HTTP port that is port number 80 through an ICMP ET at zero protocol and it shows automatically unreachable so according to this rule so when now we are trying to access our server through the port number 80 we should not be able to so previously we were able to access now if I refresh this page you can see so it directly rejects the data packet so this is how you write a simple rule that's good so let's flush that rules and then recheck once again so we'll go back to this machine the server so now we will flush the rules by using uppercase F option and if we now use dash L we don't have any rules which is written here and now let us see does it accept it should now so we refresh the page here we go so this is how you write a rule and you go ahead and make sure your web server accepts the request okay so this is one way of writing the rule so how do we go about denying an access for one specific IP address so we know the IP address of this machine so this machine has an IP address of 1.35 so let's say clear let's say I have config it's 1.35 is this machine the clients IP address so now we will write a rule how to reject a request from a specific IP address so now we open up the server and now if we see we don't have any rules which is specified and now let's write a rule see our node section here we have an option so how do we write in so if we get any requests so any request which is coming from this particular IP address it just drops it might be any request which is related to port number 80 or it might be port number 22 whatever may be the request okay so let's see this now dash a we are using we are not using if you see here we are not using the table information we are just putting it as we are going to the second level and we are writing it directly to the chain so we are saying accept input if if the input is from this IP address so directly drop so let's see IP tables dash a input and 
dash s the IP address is 192.168.1.35 dash j jump drop so if we see the list we have this rule written so now if we try to access from this machine it should not accept the request it still says connecting it just drops it says loading it's not accepting let's try an SSH connection to make sure it drops so I'll say SSH uppercase X root at the rate of 192.168.1.30 still we are not able to connect so it drops anything and everything which is coming from an IP address 1.35 so that's good so we have demonstrated two different examples how do we go ahead and work with the web server as well as SSH so you can see connection timed out so drops so we'll stop this session right now and continue in our next session